are you up to, Rico? What are you up to? You're always up to something. What are you doing? Huh? <coughs> what are you doing? Hi everyone, you've reached Rico's channel and this is Rico. So recently I've had some questions on do Indian ringneck parrots make good pets? Ringneck parrots are known for their fun personalities, stunning looks, and ability to talk, but they are not the easiest parrots to keep, especially for someone with no bird experience. Here are some things that also come along with owning a ringneck parrot that may help you on making the decision if a ringneck parrot is the right fit for you. Number one, time. Ringneck parrots demand attention and socialization, which equals to a lot of your time. If your lifestyle is very hectic and you work a job that requires a lot of your time, perhaps a ringneck parrot may not be the right fit for you. They do not do well left alone in a cage over long periods of time. This may lead to screaming, becoming aggressive, or worse, start to self-mutilate. Number two, bluffing stages. Ringneck parrots are known to go through what's called the bluffing stages more so in comparison to other parrots. This usually happens anywhere between the ages of four months and one years old and can happen overnight. During this time, a ringneck parrot will test you with biting, lunging, and may become extremely difficult to handle, especially for a new bird owner with no experience. Although this phase does pass, many are given up for adoption because owners are not prepared for the sudden change and behavior in their parrots. Number three, noise. All birds make noise, whether it's whistling, talking, or screaming. It's just how they communicate with us. But ringneck parrots can get loud, especially with their high-pitched calls that may not be suitable to certain living arrangements. Number four, diet. Ringneck parrots require a well-balanced diet that consists of vegetables, pellets, and small amounts of fruits daily, as well as seeds or nuts for treats with fresh water. Being able to provide these foods daily is very important for a ringneck parrot's overall health. Number five, hormonal and molting. Ringneck parrots will become hormonal at least once a year before molting season around springtime and go through a molt shortly after. During these times, your parrot can become very hormonal and aggressive. These times can be difficult to deal with. Number six, destructive. Ringneck parrots love to chew just about everything and will get themselves into almost anything. Therefore, you will need to think ahead and bird proof your home. Providing your ringneck parrot with natural wood and chew toys will help to prevent this. Number seven, cages and toys. A proper cage is essential for a ringneck parrot. They are extremely active and playful. When choosing a cage for them, you need to consider their tail and therefore provide them with a larger cage. Toys are just as important for a ringneck parrot. It helps to keep them from getting bored and develop behavioral problems like feather picking. It is also a good idea to have a carrier cage for emergencies, vet visits, or simply to transport your bird to places that you need to go. An outdoor cage is also recommended so you can provide them with natural sunlight, fresh air, and keep them safe when doing so. Number 8. Aggression and Jealousy Ringneck parrots can develop a bond with only one human and can become extremely aggressive towards other family members. Having other family members and friends interact and handle them from young can help prevent them from overbonding with just one person. Number nine, financially. With owning a ringneck parrot comes the responsibilities of being able to care for your bird. Anything from food, toys, cage, vet care can all add up, especially in an emergency situation where your parrot may need special care. Number 10, messy. Birds in general are messy. Cleaning up after them is a constant chore and ringneck parrots love to create a mess. Number 11, bites. 
Arachnid parrot's bite can be extremely painful and chances are it will happen on occasion, but it's not always out of aggression. Sometimes it's simply from playing or being overexcited to warning us that they dislike something we are doing. Learning to understand a parrot's body language can help to avoid being bitten altogether. Number 12, cuddly. Some ringneck parrots can be very cuddly, if you're lucky, but generally they are more playful and will only cuddle for a bit. Number 13, sleep. A ringneck parrot will need between 10 to 12 hours of undisturbed sleep in a quiet dark room. Covering the cage with a blanket will also allow your parrot to have a better good night's rest. Number 14, talking. Both female and male ringneck parrots love to mimic noises and do have the ability to talk, but it is not always guaranteed that they will. So to sum things up, Indian ringneck parrot can make a wonderful pet for the right person. Deciding to bring home any pet should involve a lot of research and planning ahead so you are prepared. It will be a huge commitment, especially with a ringneck parrot who can live up to 25 years or more. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. And thanks so much for watching. Say bye, Rico. Bye for now, guys.